Здравствуйте! Очень рада приветствовать всех! Меня зовут Майя, я являюсь преподавателем студии Хелен Дарон в Риотове, это под Москвой. А сегодня для меня большая радость mm -hmm. принимать участие в таком проекте, который называется «Неделя сказок в прямом эфире». И мы с моими коллегами каждый день, каждый вечер в 6 часов включаем эфир и читаем английские истории. И сегодня я припасла для вас две замечательные книги, которые мы прочитаем вместе. Эти книжки хороши еще и тем, что в них прекрасные иллюстрации. А я думаю, что ваши, все, все наши ребята очень любят картинки, правда? А, позвольте, я представлю вам первую книжку. Это а, книжка известного английского автора Майкла Бонда а, «Приключения Паддингтона», «Медвежонка Паддингтона». Очевидно, скорее всего, вы знакомы уже с ним. А, и вторая книга а, на сегодня у нас, а, автор Джулия Дональдсон, а речь пойдет о девушке, замечательной девушке, которая лечит домашних питомцев. Но, ребята, как нам отправиться в эту волшебную страну сказок, в которой говорят только на английском? На поезде? М -м -м. Сейчас это сложно. И на самолете тоже сложно. И даже на машине сложно. М -м -м. У нас есть самый волшебный способ с помощью этой прекрасной палочки и сейчас мы вместе с вами произнесем два раза два раза помните волшебные заклинания абракадабра абракадабра и перенесемся в нашу страну английских сказок угу. договорились ну что Окей. абракадабра абракадабра Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 everyone. Right, look. What book I've got for you today? Paddington and the Magic Trick. Let's open the book and start reading. Mm -hmm. It was Paddington's first birthday since moving in with the Browns. Everyone was getting ready for the party. Judy hung streamers. Jonathan blew up balloons. Balloons. Uh -huh. Paddington could hardly contain his excitement. Mrs. Bird baked a special cake for the big day. She filled it with marmalade and covered it with icing. Paddington wanted a taste. Mrs. Bird let him lick the spoon. Lick the spoon. Uh -huh. It was the best birthday cake. He had ever tasted. Paddington went to look at his presents. He opened his new magic set. He put on the hat and cape. Okay. Paddington had a great idea. He would perform at the party. But first he had to learn a few magic tricks. Mm -hmm. Paddington waved mm -hmm. his magic wand. Abracadabra, he said. He didn't see. His marmalade jar drop into the secret drawer. <gasps> the trick worked. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Paddington 
practice some more. He couldn't wait to perform for his guests. Soon the guests arrived. Paddington's good friend Mr. Gruber led the way. Everyone sang Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Then Paddington blew out the candles on the cake. It was time for the magic show. Paddington set up his magic box. Jonathan and Judy dimmed the lights. Everyone was excited to see Paddington perform. Paddington put an egg on the magic box. He covered it with a scarf. He said the magic word. He waved his wand. Hey! The egg had disappeared. Paddington took a bow. He tucked his paw into the secret drawer to get the egg. Ta-da! It was a jar. Paddington was surprised. How had a jar ended up where the egg was supposed to be? Paddington's guests smiled and waited for the next trick. Next, Paddington would make flowers disappear. But he could not remember all the steps. Paddington opened a large door in the back of the box. He crawled inside to check his steps, the steps in the, his magic book. His guests waited and waited and waited. Was this the trick? Finally, Mr. Gruber knocked on the box. Are you okay in there, Mr. Brown? Paddington was stuck. Mr. Brown helped Paddington out of the box. Maybe you could do another kind of magic trick, Mrs. Brown suggested. Paddington tried a card trick. Mr. Gruber picked a card. Paddington tore it into little pieces. Into little pieces, right. This part is tricky, said Paddington. He covered the card with his scarf. Paddington waved his wand. Abracadabra, he said. said Mr. Gruber. The trick worked. He put his hand behind his ear and pulled out a coin, coin. <gasps> mm. Mr. Gruber handed him the coin. Paddington knew just how he would spend it. He would buy their next morning buns. That's the story. I hope you liked it. 
and uh, here is here is a, another one another book uh, it's called Paula the Vet by Julia Donaldson mm -hmm. let's open the book Paula is a vet and a very good vet she opens the door and she calls next pet here comes a man he walks through the door he says my cat has a very sore paw Paula has a look the paw is torn aha uh -huh, says Paula and takes out a thorn yes Paula is a vet and a very good vet she opens the door and she calls next pet here comes a boy he walks through the door he says my little dog's tummy is sore Paula tells the boy your dog is ill but she'll soon get better if she takes this pill yes Paula is a vet and a very good vet she opens the door and she calls next pet here comes a lady she walks through the door she says oh, my rabbit has a very long claw Paula tells the lady the nail needs a clip Paula gets her scissors snip 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 yes Paula is a vet and a very good vet she opens the door and she calls next pet here comes a girl here comes a girl she walks through the door she says my mouse won't run anymore Paula has a look and she says I think your mouse just needs more water to drink all the morning Paula the vet sees pet after pet after pet after pet more and more dogs more and more cats more and more rabbits and mice and rats Paula sees ordinary pets all morning Paula fe feels oh, bored Paula starts oh, yawning it's always the same thinks Paula the vet I wish I could see an extraordinary pet but Paula the vet is a very good vet so she opens the door and she calls next pet here comes someone he walks through the door it's a very small boy and a dinosaur yeah and that's the end of our story about Paula the vet and 
Thank you very much, my dear friends. And now it's time to get back home.